Well, this is the uh, mineral jig, and I've got a pail and a gallon there just to show you the comparison for size. So I can round it a bit here. Okay, it's made to be portable. That's why it's so small so you can get it into remote areas. Pulse valve uh, will fit in there permanently at some point for transport. And on the bottom, have these cup feet extensions to stabilize. And you can adjust them wherever you like. Okay, then there's a standpipe to uh, give it a little more height, which gives you more weight to work with when the pulse valve is working. And this pulse valve is not working, having troubles with uh, the seat, the actual valve seat up in here. It keeps leaking, so I'll show you here how it works. Of course, I've got to do this with one hand. Okay, I'll just uh, slide this over to the drain. And I will turn the water on. And you can see on the bottom here, it's got a one inch ball valve on the hutch, which I'll leave closed. And here comes the water. It has two riffles there on the bottom, tapered top. And the water's coming up. Zero pressure. So I'll turn down the knob on the top, put some more pressure on the spring. You can see the rubber diaphragm expanding. It vibrates but it will not pulse. It's probably uh, just under five pounds pressure. I'll keep cranking on it here. And I'm going to switch arms. This top knob has a, uh, I knurled the edge here so it's easy to grab. Makes it nice. There, it's cranked down all the way. You can see the valve is, is up a little bit. It won't. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna shut the water off here. Turn the water on. You can see the rubber expanding. It's just leaking by the seal which is a cone-shaped rubber seal fitting inside an inch and a quarter pipe. It's a tight fit, but it's, it seems to just lift the uh, diaphragm and valve just enough so it leaks and does not pulse. You can feel the uh, vibration when you're, when you're turning the knob. Now it's running maybe uh, eight pounds pressure, but it's not pulsing at all. Just a steady flow of water coming out. So what I'll do is turn the water off again. 
and uh, I'll show you the spring. One design I liked about uh, what I like about this design is you can take this com compression knob out and access the spring. You can see there's a uh, place for the spring to set in there so it doesn't slip out. It keeps the spring centered at all times. Same with the bottom here, if you if you can see that. The actual valve stem has a lobe on it so it centers centers the spring on the bottom as well as the top. Okay, so this is the spring we were using. Just and that's out of a 1980 Honda uh, 80 cc engine. I think it's the same as a XR100 early 80s exhaust valve spring. So easy to come by, and it has uh, a lot of uh, tension to it. And here's another spring I found in the spring box, which is slightly higher. So I thought we'd try it. It's tapered at the top. It's a little small. But the bottom is about the same size, about an inch in diameter. Okay, so we'll just slide that on there. And I'm going to switch arms again here, seeing as I am right handed. There we go. We'll just check the bottom, see if it's, yeah, it's sitting on there, it's centered nicely. Okay, so I'll turn the water on. And same thing. A couple pounds of pressure. No pulsating action at all, it's just leaking by the valve. You know, it's maybe trying to, but the vibration is not going to do me any good. <laughs> I'm just going to keep cranking down. This spring uh, start, it feels a lot tighter than the other spring. Oh, you can see the uh, yeah. see the rubber expanding. Wow! Holy! Looks like she's gonna blow here. Well, I'm pretty happy with the way. Uh, wow! That rubber is right up near the top. Ugh. Holy! I'm real happy the way it it clamps. There's grooves on these plates on the inside all the way around, and that's to help uh, help from slippage for this kind of reason. And we're at uh, 20 pounds pressure on the gauge, so it's cut back to flow. The rubber is almost to the top of the support plate here. Wow. Okay, I guess that's as good as it's going to get. I've been having trouble trying to find uh, any information on how an actual pulse valve works on the valve seat itself. Almost thinking I need a triggering uh, mechanism or something to adjustable tripping mechanism of some kind. So, you can drain the hutch here with a one inch ball valve. There we go. And uh, these spring loaded glass, I'm really happy with these. They really have nice stainless steel, uh, really free moving, uh, qu really good quality catches for sure. So the screen box, uh, this is uh, about 7 sixteenths, oh, it's not, it's 0 .40, I think. Polypropylene plastics, it's high density as well. If you were to try and bend it, you can uh, take a small piece and bend it to about uh, maybe almost 90 degrees, and then it breaks and shatters, so it's really tough. Plastics is what I wanted. And here's the bottom, one-eighth inch stainless steel. 
screening on the bottom. These two riffles, you can see they're wedged at the top. They're about an inch and a half total height. Oh, we got a little spider here. A cute little guy. So these ruffles can uh, come out or move them or whatever you want. It's just the three stainless steel screws at the bottom holding them in. So they'll just uh, pull those screws out and you can uh, do whatever you like with uh, if a person doesn't want them in there or adding more, changing configuration or whatnot. So here's another uh, design that worked out good was uh, this closed cell foam. It, uh, I had the silicone it in there as well. It was adhes uh, adhesive backing, but that wasn't working very good, so I used a, a thin layer of silicone to, to make it stay in place. But uh, it really seals me. Uh, down in the hutch, that's a layer of plastic. This is all aluminum plating as well. But uh, I did pour uh, a rotational pour on plastic, so it's a really smooth surface with nowhere to catch any of your finds. I'll just open this valve here. Now you can see right down. Okay. I'll just put the box back in. Uh, this uh, plastic screen box uh, pops right out of here as well. If you need to get out of it, change configuration or work on it. Uh, it's not glued together, this plastic. It has uh, screws, stainless steel screws, but you can see the black. It's kind of semi-translucent. Uh, it's just silicone, so uh, it will come apart if you wanted to use it. Uh, to make other pieces or uh, to copy that, what am I trying to say here? As a, uh, get that down there. Yeah, I'm real happy with these watches. They hold good, a lot of pressure. And it does not leak, it'll hold water overnight in the box. It does not leak down on the, on the seal. So I think this is a good idea for for sealing it. And that's a one piece uh, closed cell foam there on the, well, it's actually silicone on the bottom. So there you have it. Now if I could just figure out how to make that uh, that valve pulsate then I'd be off to the races but any ideas would be appreciated and uh, thanks for watching.